Okay, guys, so um, we're back in Illustrator, and we're going to draw um, the black outline that goes around the glove. And there isn't really a stroke that creates that shape. It's actually another shape that's stacked or placed behind the white glove, and it's a little bit bigger than the white glove, and it kind of creates a more organic kind of, you know, hand-drawn form. Um, it's not just a static stroke. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of the glove, so I'm not editing that glove in any way, and I'm going to go get my pen tool, so I click on the pen tool, um, and I can see right away I'm going to need to change the fill and stroke, so if I click on the fill, I'm going to say none under color, and I'm going to go back over and click on the stroke palette, and I'm going to say black, because I need to be able to see the line as I'm drawing it, and then down here in stroke again, I'm just going to put in 0.5 because it's easier to work with a smaller stroke, and I'm going to draw all the way around the glove. So I'm going to just start off at like a corner point. You know, that's something that that's the easiest place to start, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go up about halfway through the arc of the little cuff at the top of the glove, and I'm just going to drag. I'm clicking and dragging. I'm not like letting go, and I'm just going to draw out part of the cuff, and I'm going to come down to the left side, and it looks pretty good. I think, you know, Illustrator's showing me a preview, and I'm going to click, so I've kind of got that shape anchored, and I'm going to come halfway on the shape of the outside of the glove, and I'm going to drag, so I'm holding down when I click, right, and then I'm going to drag, and because I need the stroke to continue out as like a puffy outer shape. I can't just click here, Illustrator won't allow me to do that. It's trying to complete the line as a smoother line. So I'm going to click on the anchor to anchor it. It gets rid of that handle. And then I'm going to click and drag, right? Click on the anchor, click and drag, click, right? And so, um, I mean, that looks pretty good. So I went ahead and clicked and then I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to come up to finish it, and it looks like it actually will finish up that shape pretty well. So I'm going to click, and that's now created the shape for me, right? Um, and I need to make that shape be black so that it outlines the glove. So I am going to click on the fill, and I'm going to click on black. So you'll notice that right away I can't see the glove anymore because Illustrator places objects that get created in different, you know, within the layer, they're stacked on top of each other in the order that they get created. So the oldest items are on the bottom and the newest items are on top. So I can change the order of the stacking by just going up to Object Arrange. So Bring to Front would bring the black outline of the glove to the front, which we don't need. Um, we want to send it to the back, right? So if I click on Send to Back, now you can actually see the glove, you can see the little wrinkles, you see the little cuff, um, and that shape is kind of outlining, um, right, the glove. It's giving it a lot more form. And um, something that might make it easier to manage this a little bit further down the road is I'm just gonna swipe over the glove and the outline of the glove, and I'm gonna say Object Group. And so now, if I'm using the Direct Select arrow, all I have to do is click on it one time, and I can move that glove around, right? So it allows me to kind of be able to make minute changes. And I can use the up arrow on the keyboard to minutely move the, an object. I can use the down arrow. I can use the right arrow. I can use the left arrow. And it just makes it easier for me to make you know, tiny edits to place elements exactly where I need them to be. So that's kind of, you know, drawing an outline, drawing shapes on top of a shape, punching them through, and then moving, um, you know, different elements within the layer up and down in the stacking order.